All right, sisters, let's pick up our devotional reading in Isaiah chapter 51 and 52. And I'll pick up 51. Isaiah 51, verse 1. Listen to me, you that follow after righteousness, you that seek Yah. That's us, right? Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Yah. Look unto the rock whence you are hewn, Mm. and to the hole of the pit whence you are digged. So look from the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. Look to the rock from whence you are hewn and to the hole of the pit whence you are digged. That's y'all all all the way. From your beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. The rock that was hewn, you can Mm -hmm. say those are the Ten Commandments, right? That's right. right. Hallelujah. Verse 2. Look unto your father Abraham Mm -hmm. and unto your mother Sarah that bear you. Mm -hmm. For I called him alone Mm -hmm. and blessed him and increased him. Mm -hmm. Praise y'all. When he had no family, no children whatsoever, <laughs> y'all blessed him and increased him. Praise y'all. And Abraham believed y'all and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Verse 3. For Yah shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places and he will make her wilderness like Eden mm-hmm. and her desert like the garden of Yah. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, Hallelujah. thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Praise Yah. So her wilderness is going to be like the, the mm-hmm. holy, the fertile crescent, right? Mm-hmm. From the Nile River to the River Euphrates, that's the fertile crescent. That's all of Eden. And what else did he say? And her desert like the garden mm-hmm. of Yah. You never, I never paid attention to that. Mm-hmm. Praise then. Yah. Mm-hmm. Praise Yah. The so holy garden. going to cause it to spring up. That's right. Praise Yah. Praise wow. Yah. Hallelujah. Verse 4. Listen unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation. For a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. Mm-hmm. My righteousness is near. My salvation is gone forth. And my arms shall judge the people. The islands shall wait upon me, and on my arm shall they trust. Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment. And they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever. And my righteousness shall not be abolished. And we know he's, he skipped right past a thousand years on this earth to the new heaven and the, the, creation, right. the destruction of this earth uh-huh. and the creation of the new heaven and the new earth. Mm-hmm. Verse 7. Listen unto me, you that know righteousness, hmm. the people in whose heart is my law. Hmm. Yes. Fear you not the reproach of men, neither be you afraid of their revilings. Oh, yeah. Isn't this timely, mm-hmm. sisters? Mm-hmm. God's mm-hmm. word, is it, it, it lasts throughout all generations. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's still timely to us mm-hmm. right here today. Mm-hmm. Verse 9. That's why I say it's called prophecy, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> it, it, this wasn't specifically mm-hmm. written for the time before doing Isaiah's time, it was written for us. Mm-hmm. So when it says, be not afraid of their reviling, mm-hmm. and I'm not used to that term, but I would imagine it means whatever you know, they have to say about you. Or, about mm-hmm. you and about our God, mm-hmm. okay. right? Mm-hmm. That's the whole thing. They hate Yah and they hate us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Verse yeah. 9. Awake, I, awake. I think you got verse 8. Can verse 8. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm sorry. Verse 8. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Praise Yah. Awake, awake, put on your strength, O arm of Yah. Awake, as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Are you not it that has cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Are you not it which have dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, 
that hath made the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because because Yah's mm-hmm. timeless, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He's done all that in the past, and he's going to do what he wants to do in the present and in the future. That's why it says, I am, mm-hmm. I was, I will be. Right. He, I am. Right. Mm-hmm. He is timeless. And he did all this, mm-hmm. and he's going to do it again. Hmm. Verse 11. Therefore, the redeemed of Yah shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. Praise Yah. I, even I, am he that could comforteth you. That comforteth you. Who are you that you should be afraid of a man that shall die? Mm-hmm. And of the son of man which shall be made as grass. Mm. Wow. What does it say? The, 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 the grass grow and it withers away, mm-hmm. right? The wind blow it away. Mm-hmm. It's chaff. Right. Verse 13. And forget Yah your maker. Mm. Didn't he say over in verse mm-hmm. 1, he said, seek Yah. Look mm-hmm. unto the rock from whence you are hewn, mm-hmm. and the hole of the pit whence you were dead. Mm-hmm. Praise Yah. Mm-hmm. Verse 13. 13. And forget Yah your maker, that have stretched forth the heavens, and laid the foundations of the earth, and have feared continually every day. Because of the fury of your oppressor. Mm-hmm. As if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? Oh. The captive exile hastens that he may be loosed. Hallelujah. Yeah. And that he should not die in this pit. Mm-hmm. Nor that his bread should fail. Mm-hmm. Praise y'all. Hallelujah. Isn't that our prayer mm-hmm. right now? Mm-hmm. That we not die in this pit? Mm-hmm. Yes. And that we suffer not famine and disease over in this country. Mm-hmm. Y'all save us from all this. That's right. Verse 15. But I am Yah, your Elohim, that divided the sea, whose waves roared. Yah host is his name. Oh, yeah. And I have put my words in your mouth, and I have covered you in the shadow of my hand, that I might plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth and say unto Zion, you are my people. Hmm. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at which has drunk at the hand of Yah, the cup of his fury. Hmm. You have drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. Hmm. Yah's fury began with us, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey. Why wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Judgment begins at the house of Israel. At the house of Israel. We were the ones that did wrong. Mm-hmm. I mean, perhaps if we had kept our way, the nations wouldn't be as evil as they are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what the Mashiach said, didn't he? He said, if I had gone to the Gentiles, they would have heard me. <laughs> but all day long, I've stretched forth my hand to a disobedient and gainsaying people. Verse 18. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she hath brought forth. Is there? No. Nope. Huh? So far in, in, in our history, what brother or man or son has come up to lead our people out of this mess? He said we wouldn't have a, a king or a, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or a prince mm-hmm. or an ephod, mm-hmm. nothing. Mm-hmm. That's right. Neither is there any that take her by the hand of all the sons that she hath brought up. Hmm. These two things are come upon you. Who shall be sorry for you? Hmm. Desolation and destruction Hmm. and the famine and the sword. By whom shall I comfort you? Your sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as wild bulls in a net. Hmm. They are full of the fury of Hmm. Yah. Hmm. The rebuke of your Elohim. Therefore, hear now this, you afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Hmm. Thus saith the Adonai Yah and your Elohim that pleadeth the cause of his people. Hmm. Behold, I have taken out of your hand the cup of trembling. Thank you, Father. Hmm. Even the dregs of the cup of my fury. You shall no more drink it again. Woo! Thank you, Father. 
but I will put it in the hand of them that afflict you, which have said to your soul, bow down that we may go over. Mm -hmm. And you have laid your body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. Mm -hmm. and was, hasn't it been so? Mm -hmm. Yes, it has. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't been with any other nation but us. Mm -hmm. You know, verse 20 is really deep as well as all of it. Um, because it's, you know, it's talking about um, thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets mm -hmm. as a wild bull in a net. Mm -hmm. You know, right. yeah. you know, unable. You know, Shut up. Employment not available. Mm -hmm. Right, just restricted. And right. just restricted and just standing around and, yeah. and just ready to do what right. can't. Right, exactly. Yeah. Those that they give a voice to, mm -hmm. what do they make them say to uh, to us as a nation? Mm -hmm. Call the women bees. Mm -hmm. right. Call the right. men dogs. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Talk about nothing but filthy sex. Exactly. All and that's things. all you can yeah. do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. A wild bull in a net. A wild yeah. bull in a net. Praise y'all. And that's who they set up as, as our so-called, you know, idols. Mm -hmm. So-called ones that we look mm -hmm. up to. Mm -hmm. This deep. Yeah, sister. Deep. But 23, hallelujah, mm -hmm. but I will put it Praise in God. the hand of them that afflict you, mm -hmm. which have said to your body, mm -hmm. bow down that we may go over. Mm -hmm. And you have laid your body as the ground and as the street to mm -hmm. them that went over. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> All right. Isaiah 52. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 52. Verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the Amen. holy city. For hmm. henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Praise Yah. Shake, mm -hmm. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, hmm. O Catholic daughter of Zion. Hmm. Thus says the Most High, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Sold ourselves for nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. they bought us for cowrie shells, cowrie shells, right? Mm -hmm. uh, rum, mm -hmm. sugar, mm -hmm. molasses. Mm -hmm. This is what we were traded for. Yeah. Trinkets. 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 Mm -hmm. Guns, yeah, yeah. guns, yeah. Mm -hmm. And even today, you know, just like those same ones that you're speaking about, the who supposedly made it now, mm -hmm. especially in the music industry, yeah. whereby they they're signing these contracts, which they find out are, is nothing. It's just slavery, exactly. exactly. And they're literally selling themselves for nothing. Right, song be number one, and they ain't got a dime. Not right. a dime, right. not mm -hmm. a dime. They can't understand. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Con meanwhile, these same songs are the ones that are degrading and tearing down the mm -hmm. rest of us. Right, mm -hmm. praise y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, chapter 52. Verse 1. Verse 1? Okay. Four. Four. 4. Okay. Well, thus says the most high our power, my people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Hmm. Wow. Now, therefore, what have I here, says Yahweh, that my people is taken away for nothing? Hmm. They that rule over them, make them to howl, hmm. says the Most High, hmm. and my name continually, <laughs> every day, is blasphemy. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the case right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Every I mean, day. And when you think about it, you know, the, the rising in prices, you know, the rising in rent, mm -hmm. yeah. everything, gasoline, yeah. We hurting the worst, y'all. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we seriously, mm -hmm. we are hurting the worst. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then to make the top this off, he said, and my name continually, mm -hmm. every yeah. day is blasphemed right. among my people right. that you've mm -hmm. taken for nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you know, it's wild because we're hurting even more so now than the first crash or, you know, 1929 crash because we didn't have access to anything. Mm -hmm. You know, so we were, right. Right. We, were, we were accustomed. We were accustomed to. to yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, nothing, nothing really we, changed. We made for us. something out of nothing. Exactly, then. nothing right. really changed for us. We're still on. You know, I agree. High and mighty now. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Praise y'all. Yeah. Praise y'all. Yeah. We yeah. think we didn't like arrive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't eat beans right. or rice. Right, right, right. 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 The comforts of life and the air conditioning and everything else. We'll see. We're getting ready to. We're gonna see real quick. Verse six, sister. 
Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know that in that day that I am he that doth speak. Mm -hmm. Behold, it is I. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publishes peace and brings good tidings of good that publishes salvation, hmm. that says hmm. unto Zion, thy power reigneth. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's what good news means. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Publishes a peace, right? Mm-hmm. The gospel. That's what gospel means. Good news. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Mm-hmm. Verse 8. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. With the voice together shall they sing. For they shall see eye to eye when... Yah shall bring again Zion. Hallelujah. Break forth into joy. Sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem. For Yah hath comforted his people. He hath redeemed Jerusalem. Praise Yah. Yah hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our power. Amen. Depart ye. Depart ye, go ye out from thence. Touch no unclean thing. Mm. Go ye out of the midst of her. Be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Most High. Praise Yah. Mm-hmm. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor by go nor go by flight. Mm-hmm. For the Most High will go before you, and the power of Israel will be your rear reward. Mm-hmm. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. What we got to worry about? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Most High will go before mm-hmm. us through his angel, right? Mm-hmm. And the Elohim of Israel will be behind us. Praise, Praise, God. God. Praise, Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. All right, sisters. I uh, thought that I'd give y'all that as encouragement and strength. Mm-hmm. Are you only wanted to go to verse 12? Uh, no, finish that, sister. I'm sorry. Okay. Verse 13. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. Amen. He shall be exalted and extolled. And be very high. Amen. As many were astonished at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man, Mm -hmm. and his form more than the sons of men. Mm. So shall he sprinkle many nations, the king shall shut their mouths at him. For that which he had not been told them, Uh -uh. repeat that, sis, shall they see. And that which they had not heard shall they consider. Praise Yah. Read that again, says verse 15. Verse 15. So shall he sprinkle many nations. Mm -hmm. The kings shall shut their mouths at him. For that which had not been told them shall see. Mm -hmm. Shall they see. Mm -hmm. And that which they had not heard. Shall they consider? Mm-hmm. Praise God. Nope. Hallelujah. See him and know him will know. Amen. So, Amen. If you don't know, now you know. Mm. <laughs> you, you, you better start considering, right? Mm-hmm. And these are the kings of the earth. Of course, they haven't been told. They don't even want their people reading this scripture anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the nations, the, especially the kings of the earth, they are aligned with Lucifer, right? right. And they're going to do his bidding. So they haven't been told anything about Yahshua returning to this earth as king and as with with power from Yah mm-hmm. to be what? And king of kings and Adonai of Adonai? They wouldn't believe it because they don't know. Right. They wouldn't believe it if it, even if they were told. Mm-hmm. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. All right, sisters. Uh, so let's pick up our scripture in Revelation chapter 10. And we were in the, uh, towards the end of the sixth trumpet. And we were talking about, we left off talking about the seven thunders that, that uttered their voices. So let's pick back up there. Revelation. Three and verse four. Okay. Everybody there? Mm-hmm. Revelations 10 and verse three. And cried with a loud voice as when a lion roars. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered and write them not. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Now, uh, these were seven thunders, not one, Mm -hmm. but seven thunders. Mm -hmm. And last week we read a lot about 
what the thunder sounds like and it sounds like uh, the voice of Yah always sounded like thunder. Mm -hmm. We read even in the New Testament when, when Yah spoke to his son on earth, the other, the, he understood what Yah said to him, but the rest of the people thought it thundered, thunder. right? Mm -hmm. And so I've got just a couple of more scriptures to read. We even played the sound of thunder. I mean, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. everybody would, would get in their place when thunder and lightning was upon the uh -huh. earth, right? Mm -hmm. Because it was a, it's a scary thing to hear yes, that is. noise and the earth, you know, kind of rattling and there's yeah. lightning and it always corresponded with rain, etc. Mm -hmm. So I've got a couple of more pieces of scripture to, to bring that point out and then we're going to go uh, into the fact that these seven thunders, even though we are in the book of Revelation to reveal, he told these seven thunders, Seal up what I said. Okay. What right. what 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 he told John rather to seal up what the seven thunders had uttered. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's pick Exodus nine, twenty two through thirty five. Exodus chapter nine, mm -hmm. twenty two through thirty five. We read nineteen last week. Mm -hmm. Exodus chapter nine, verses twenty two through thirty five. It's weird because um, the last class, literally at the end of the class, it, like right when everyone stepped, it thundered. Mm -hmm. like, it was thundering. I was like, y'all hurry up and get home. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. We better get used to it because it's going to some things coming upon this earth, sisters. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Y'all is not going to be playing with these nations. Mm -hmm. So let's see what he's done in the past and we understand what's going to happen in the mm -hmm. future. Praise God. Uh, Exodus chapter 9, verse 22 through 35. Verse 22. And Yah said unto Moshe, Stretch forth thy hand toward heaven, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt, upon man and upon beast and upon every herb of the field throughout the land of Egypt. And Moses stretched forth the rod toward heaven, and Yah sent thunder and hail, and the fire ran along, along upon the ground. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh rained hell upon the land of Egypt. So Moshe stretched forth his hand, but it was Yah that sent the thunder and the hell and the, and the fire, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 24. Mm -hmm. So there was hail and fire mingled with the hail, mm. very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. Mm -hmm. And the hail smote throughout all the land of Egypt, all that was in the field, both man and beast, and the hail smote every herb of the field and break every tree of the field. Hmm. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, was there no hail. Wow. You all hear that? The hail yeah. smote every yeah. herb of the field and broke down all the trees. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It was that deep and heavy. Yeah. Wow. And again, it wasn't just hail. It was mingled with fire. Mm -hmm. okay, go ahead, sister. Uh, verse 27. And Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron and said unto them, I have sinned this time. <laughs> Yah is righteous and I and my people are wicked. <laughs> Entreat Yah, for it is enough <laughs> that there be no more mighty thunderings and hail and I will let you go and you shall stay no longer. <laughs> Well, and Moses said unto him, as soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad my hands unto Yah and the thunder shall cease. Mm -hmm. Neither shall there be any more hail that you may know how that the earth is Yah. Praise Yah. But as for you and your servants, mm -hmm. I know that you will not yet fear Yah, mm -hmm. our Elohim. Mm -hmm. And the flax and the barley was smitten. For the barley was at was in the ear, and the flax was boiled. Wow. Okay, so this was before the Passover, right? This, like the, these were the, but the part small, of the ten but plagues. The, say, the barley was had ears. The right, the barley was in the ear. It had mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. what broken out yet. It hadn't produced mm -hmm. from yeah. the seed yet, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Praise y'all. Uh, but, but some of these brothers and brothers will go go and read this to say that. This was the time of the, the Passover, but we hadn't gotten the Passover yet. Right. I don't know how close we were, but the barley was not out mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. It was in the ear. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Verse 32. But the wheat and the rye were not smitten, for they were not grown up. They, hadn't, they weren't even in the ear. They weren't even budded yet. Mm -hmm. Right? Because mm -hmm. wheat and rye are summer uh, harvests. Mm -hmm. Not spring. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Verse 33. 
And Moses went out of the city from Pharaoh and spread abroad his hands unto Yah. And the thunders and hail ceased, and the rain was not poured upon the earth. Praise Yah. And when Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and the thunders were ceased, he sinned yet more mm-hmm. and hardened his heart, he and his servants. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, neither would he let the children of Israel go, as Yah had spoken by Moses. Huh, you hear that? Mm-hmm. It said what? Verse, mm-hmm. and, and Moses told him, soon as I finish, you're going to go back to your sinning. Right. right. Mm-hmm. You're not going to hear. Right. And then it said in verse 34, and when Pharaoh saw mm-hmm. that the rain and the hail and the thunders were ceased, he sinned yet more mm-hmm. and hardened his heart. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. Yahweh had hardened his heart. Right. Exactly. But let's go back to Revelation chapter 10. Actually, we're going to read one verse in chapter 9, verse 20. And this is after the fifth, the sixth trumpet. Let's see what it says. Revelation chapter 9, verse 20. Sister. Everybody there? And remember what happened with Pharaoh. Mm-hmm. Soon as all that, that scary stuff had stopped, right? The thunder and the hell and the rain. He went back to doing just what he wanted to do. Right. Mm-hmm. Let's see what happens. This is after the okay. sixth trumpet. Let's see what happens in verse 20. Mm-hmm. Verse 20. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Verse 21. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same thing is going to happen in the future. Yep. I don't care. All these plagues that yeah. Yah is going to send upon man, they don't care. Mm-hmm. They're going to, once it's mm-hmm. over, they're going to keep doing what they're doing. Yeah. Not even consider. Praise yeah. Yah. Yeah. Praise Yah. Only the righteous, only mm-hmm. those who are trying to walk in his way mm-hmm. and see these great things happening, mm-hmm. they're the only ones that will consider mm-hmm. and fear. Mm-hmm. Right. And what is fear? The beginning of wisdom. Right. Mm-hmm. And you can see that, that mm-hmm. how it's going to be just like that because, first of all, they don't even give Yah credit for right. the things that happen. Exactly. It's Mother Nature. Mother nature. So yeah. if it happens, why would you even think that this is wrath being poured out mm-hmm. and that I need to change my ways? Right. It's exactly. just they don't even consider Yah. Right. Praise Yah. Right. Praise Yah. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. And mm-hmm. the fact that they went back so quickly, that I mean, that brings us to repentance. And repentance is directly connected with actions. Right. Because if you right. repent, then you have to change your actions. That's right. right. And That's they, right. Didn't, they didn't repent. Right. Yeah. It says they repented not. Right. right. Praise right. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Psalm 77, verse 13 through 20. Psalm 13. Your way, O Elohim, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our Elohim? Praise Yah. You are the Elohim that does wonders. You have declared your strength among the people. You have with your arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. Selah. Amen. The waters saw you, O Elohim. The waters saw you. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled. Hmm. The clouds poured out water. The mm-hmm. sky sent out a sound. Your arrows also went abroad. Praise Yah. Arrows of lightning, right? Mm-hmm. The sound was is the thunder, thunder. Yeah. right? Mm-hmm. All has to do with clouds of rain, okay. yeah. thunder, lightning. It all goes together. Right. But these are Yah's weapons of war. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Listen to verse 18. The voice of your thunder was in the heaven. Mm. The lightnings lighted the world. Mm. The earth trembled and shook. Your way is in the sea and your path in the great waters and your footsteps are not known. Mm, wow, amazing. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. All right, let's pick up uh, Job. Mm-hmm. Job chapter 28, verse 20 through 28. Job 28, 20 through 28. Um, Job chapter 28 verses 20. Whence then, um, whence then comes wisdom? And where is the place of understanding? Hmm. Seeing it is hid from the eyes of all living and kept close from the fowls of the air. Hmm. Destruction and death say, we have heard the fame thereof with our ears. 
Elohim understands the way thereof, and he knows the place thereof. Hmm. For he looks to the ends of the earth and see, seeth under the whole heaven. Hmm. So if there's an end, then hmm. clearly it can be. Right? If he looks to the ends round, of right. the earth, he has to see the whole expanse. Exactly. It's not Praise round. It's, right. It's, right, exactly. And you know, it's funny because when, you, when we were reading just a few moments ago in Isaiah 50, Two and ten. Mm -hmm. It also spoke of those ends of the earth. It sure did. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yeah. Okay. Um, what verse? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. I'm still looking for Job. Oh, before okay. Psalms. Twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, before Psalms. Anyway, Twenty-eight. You got it. Um, Job 28 verse 25 To make the weight for the winds And he weigheth the waters by measure hmm. When he made a decree for the rain And a way for the lightning of the thunder Okay so let's marinate on this for a wow. minute right mm -hmm. Verse 25 to verse 24 For he looked to the ends of the earth And see under the whole heaven To make the weight for the winds and he weighs the waters by measure. Mm. Waters, plural. Mm -hmm. Winds, plural. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, how do you weigh the wind? Hmm. Right. And how can you weigh the yeah. waters mm -hmm. yeah. to measure the waters of the earth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Above my can't even think. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What they say, above my pay grade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. well, he said, he said my ways are higher than your ways. Why right? my thoughts are higher than your thoughts? Exactly. He said, my mm -hmm. foolishness mm -hmm. is higher than your yeah. wisdom. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. His foolishness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Praise y'all. Mm -hmm. Which means shut your mouth. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of grown folk business. Exactly. Say that again. So that means what? Stay out of grown folk business. <laughs> <laughs> shut your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we're in verse 27. Uh, then did he see it and declare it. He prepared it. Yes, he searched it out. Uh, I picked that up at 26. Sis. Okay, verse 26. When he made a decree for the rain and a way for the lightning of thunder, mm -hmm. then did he see it uh, and declare it. He prepared it, yes, and searched it out. Praise Yah. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh, that, that is, is wisdom. wisdom. Mm -hmm. and to Why the, are you trying mm -hmm. to figure out more yeah. than that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Fear Yah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. wisdom. Right, right, right. Your little pea brain can't get into all of this other mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Paul even said, I felt you with milk. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. right. heretofore, you can't deal with the meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too much. Praise y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. it, and like it says, behold, fear Yahweh. It's like, and don't fear man. Right. Mm -hmm. And all the little things that man mm -hmm. tries to, you know, affect. To make you fear. Yeah, right. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Particular, fear particularly now. Praise y'all. Yeah. You know? Especially now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Fear and, yeah. And isn't it just like Satan to make people try to make people to fear him when they're supposed to fear Yah? Right. Yeah. That's his every yeah. goal. That's mm -hmm. his that's his that's existence. Mm -hmm. His right. being is to make you fear and do as he say mm -hmm. as opposed to fear Yah. Right. Yeah. Right. Because you fear your God. Hallelujah. Hmm. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. Verse twenty eight. And unto the man he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh, that is wisdom. Mm -hmm. And to depart from evil is understanding. You hear that? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's simple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yep. hmm. But in order to fear him, you got to know what his words right. say, right? Because right. mm -hmm. he's not going to come down and talk to you mm -hmm. or me mm -hmm. or any of us. Mm -hmm. Those days are over, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. even your, 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 Yahshua said, the last prophet was Yohanan. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? So before Yah rose early, sending mm -hmm. his prophets, mm -hmm. this was after our people said, "What? Don't let him speak to us anymore." Right. So he sent men to speak to us, mm -hmm. but he stopped that at Yohanan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So he's not going to come and speak to any one of us. His word speaks to us. Mm -hmm. The word of Yah speaks to us. Mm -hmm. Which Praise is why they were told to write it down. Exactly. So write it we'll down. be here for us. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So the be, behold, the fear of Yah, that is wisdom. Praise right. And to part, depart from evil is your understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if we ever have a question as to what is wisdom and understanding, yeah. 
Yeah. There you have it. That's it. Yeah. Fear you know, God, we don't, we don't have to philosophize no, about we do it. Not. Right? No, we do not. Theorize about it. No, and all those big words mm-hmm. that the Greeks mm-hmm. and the Romans used, exactly. right? right. Just Which we God. try to emul- emulate. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's simple. Mm-hmm. It's simple. He said, take my yoke, it's easy. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Huh? Fear me. Mm-hmm. I've told you what I need you to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just do it. And you know, it's, well, you know, like everything else, when you grow up ignorant like in the Christian church they don't teach fear in Yahweh mm-hmm. at all mm-hmm. no no right. mm-hmm. I mean you know they got his love they don't know. be your friend mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. be your friend and I guess that's exactly why <laughs> that's they promote true. that God is love mm-hmm. and everything is just so touchy do what you want to do yeah. Yeah. you know accept yeah. you as you come right, you know right, you right, come right, however you yeah. come it's all mm-hmm. good really mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's all good mm-hmm. no no. Otherwise, it's you wouldn't have so that when mm-hmm. destruction comes, they can say, "You see, what kind of God would do that?" That's right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. All right, sisters, so, so you got a handout. It's called uh, Second mm-hmm. Ezra or Ez- Ezra's. Oh yeah, yeah. Ezra. Oh, it's uh, handout number five. Okay, mm-hmm. we're gonna read verse eight through verse twenty. Verse twenty. Okay. Verses. Let me write this down. Second Ezra. Ezra. Esdras. And, and Esdras is, is in the Apocrypha. Mm-hmm. And Ezra is the same as Ezra. Right? So Praise we God. have the one of the books of Ezra. And, and this the is the second right. book mm-hmm. of Ezra mm-hmm. in the Apocrypha. Absolutely. Yeah. That was left out of mm-hmm. the first okay. And and yeah. you know it's funny because just like you're saying, you know, the, the history behind the books of Ezra is amazing because and we have, like you said, we have Ezra, and mm-hmm. then we have Nehemiah, which is also wrote by Ezra, which right. is really considered Ezra two. And then, oh, you, then you yeah. know, then we have the then we have the two Ezras, like you said, that are in the Apocrypha, mm-hmm. Ezra one and Ezra two. Right. And right. and this Ezra's two is pretty amazing because if you go only get the King James version uh-huh. of it, it only in chapter seven you only get. I think it's 70 verses. There's okay. missing a whole another 70 verses that goes up to 140. Wow. If you get any other translation outside of the trans, the King James Version. Okay. And those okay. additions, if you, in any, well, any of them. Uh-huh. And the thing is, if you read those other 70, mm-hmm. I mean, it's mind-blowing. Wow. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Praise See, God. 70, that's in the Masoretic text. You can find that. Mm-hmm. Yep. In second address in the Masoretic text. From the wow. Masoretic, yep. And, and this is with regard to uh, the thunder and the clouds and the rain and the earthquakes and all that, what we're getting ready to read. But I encourage you to read this whole, all these chapters. I mean, it's, it's so amazing how Yah shared with all the prophets the same thing. Hmm. It's one prophecy. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Praise it's one Isn't prophecy. Mm-hmm. And yeah, they repeat. Uh, reading mm-hmm. the rest of this, the rest of this is all about mm-hmm. really the end times, mm-hmm. what we're going through. If, but mm-hmm. we're not gonna read that right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But read it. I encourage you to read it. And okay. you'll be you'll be like, Okay, I saw this in Ezekiel, I saw right. this in Isaiah. Mm-hmm. It's there. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and you'll you'll remember it. And, and, and just as I did, mm-hmm. okay. and I'm like, praise y'all! Your word is everlasting, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. everlasting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And He gave it to all the prophets. He praise said, "What well, rising up early, mm-hmm. right. giving Him, giving them My word to give to My people, mm-hmm. and mm. you would not." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah! How you say, hard neck, hard headed, and stiff neck, mm-hmm. and all that? Praise y'all! Praise y'all! Okay, My so. word is sweet, coming into the body. And bitter going out mm-hmm. because our people would not. Right. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Good. Pick up Second Ezra, uh, chapter sixteen, verse eight through twenty, my sister. Okay. Um, chapter sixteen, verse eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yahweh Elohim uh, sends the evils. Hmm. Who will drive him away? A fire will go out from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? Hmm. He will cast lightning, and who will not fear? He will thunder, and who will not tremble? Mm -hmm. Yahweh will threaten, and who will not be utterly broken in pieces at his presence? Hmm. The earthquakes and the foundations thereof. The sea arises up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it will be troubled, and Hmm. the fishes thereof also at the presence of Yah. Mm. And before the glory of his power, Praise Yah. for strong is his right hand that bends the bow. Hmm. His arrows that he shoots are sharp and will not miss. Hmm. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, 
Behold, the evils are sent out and will not return again until they come upon the earth. Hmm. The fire is kindled and will not be put out until it consumes the foundations of the earth. Hmm. Just as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returns not backward, even so the evils that are sent out upon the earth will not return again. Hmm. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Hmm. The beginning of sorrows, and there will be great mourning. The beginning of famine, and many will perish. The beginning of wars, and the powers will stand in fear. Hmm. The beginning of evils, and all will tremble. What will they do in all this when the evils will come? Guess what they're going to do? Hmm. Repent not! Hmm. Yeah. Praise Yeah. Just as we read from the time of Egypt all the way to the present time, they will repent not. They don't care how many dies. Lucifer don't care how many dies. He don't care. Neither do the people that he, they have pledged their allegiance to him. Verse 19. Behold a famine and plague, suffering and anguish. They are sent as scourges for amendment. Hmm. But for all these things, they will not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Praise y'all. Hallelujah. Praise y'all. Same thing, right? Mm-hmm. That we read in Revelation, that we read in, uh, in, in uh, Exodus. Mm-hmm. They're not going to care. Mm-mm. Soon as, the, the, as they get a little bit of relief yeah. from whatever the destruction is that y'all sent, they back to doing the same old mess. Hmm. Like it's not going to ever right. end. Right. Like they're going to be able to recoup. Mm-hmm. And that's what they're going to think this last time too. They think that they're going to be able to deal with this and everything's going to be fine. Mm-hmm. No. Right. This right. is the mm-hmm. end. Yes. This is it. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying earlier. I was like, you know what? I just have this feeling that, you know, the way the prices and all the stuff mm-hmm. is going up now. Like everybody always says, oh, well, you know, we always have these little time periods where stuff goes up and comes back mm-hmm. down. I just don't feel like it's coming back down no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think that whole getting back mm-hmm. right no. is happening mm-hmm. anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't have this feeling right. that. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. We, it's going to get worse. Not, and yeah, worse. This, this is, this is, this is it. it. We're yeah, not going is, back to the, okay, well, it no, no. Right. It's not happening this time. Well, yeah, it's have that feeling. I agree, one hundred percent. It's even worse like, yeah. than the sure new normal. This mm-hmm. is something we've yeah. never seen before. Mm-hmm. Never. The two powers that be in the world at each other's throat. Mm-hmm. Go back to chapter uh, ten, Revelation chapter ten. Pick up verses six, chapter ten, verses six through seven. Now remember, he told he told uh, John in verse four. He said. Seal up those things which the seven thunders are ordered, mm-hmm. uttered, right? Mm-hmm. And write them not. Now, uh, he's, he shared that before. He's told other prophets to seal up mm-hmm. what was revealed to them, right? Mm-hmm. Because it wasn't time for the people on the earth to know what was being shared with the prophets. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, hey, mm-hmm. it's Yah. Mm-hmm. He can do what he wants, with what he wants, how he wants. And if it's not time for us to understand, it's not time for us to understand. Mm -hmm. And let's see, let's go to the book of Daniel and let's see what happens uh, with the book of, with with Daniel when he told him to seal up these things, Mm -hmm. right? Let's pick up. Do we not want to read it first? Yeah, let's let's go to this first and then we'll we'll go back. We already read, you already read where it says seal up. So Mm -hmm. we're going where? Daniel chapter 8. Daniel 8. Verse 15 through 27. And Daniel 12, 1 through 13. And then we, I'll let you read uh, verse 7. Mm-hmm. And it came to pass when I, even I, Daniel, had seen the vision and sought for the meaning. For the meaning. Then behold, there stood before me as an, the appearance of a man. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of the... What is it? You lay I. You lay I. Which called and said... Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. Hmm. So he came near where I stood, and when he came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for at the time of the end shall the vision be. Shall be the vision. Not, not in your time, yeah. but at the time of the end, right? Mm-hmm. So Daniel, he had. We didn't. We didn't read the vision because that's uh, up above. But it says. 
in verse 15, I, even I, Danielle, had seen the vision and sought for the meaning, mm -hmm. right? He saw everything, but he didn't understand it, Okay. right? Yeah. Then, behold, there stood before me as the appearance of a man, mm -hmm. and I heard a man's voice between the bank of Ulai, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. Mm -hmm. So the man he saw yes. was Israel, right? Okay. And he told him, he told Gabriel to allow Daniel to understand the vision that he had seen, right? Wow. Okay. Verse 17. Okay. So he came near where I stood. Gabriel came near where mm -hmm. Daniel stood, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. And when he came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for at the time of the end shall the vision shall be the vision. Mm -hmm. This is our time, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes. Okay. okay, praise y'all. Now as he was speaking with me, I was in a deep sleep on my face toward the ground. Mm -hmm. So he fainted, hadn't he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was knocked the hell <laughs> on out. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But he touched me and set me upright. Gabrielle, the angel, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Archangel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he said, Behold, I will make thee I will make thee know what shall be in the last end of, of the indignation. Mm -hmm. For at the time at the time appointed the end shall be. Mm-hmm. Okay. The ram which thou saw having two horns are the are the king kings, rather, of Media and Persia. Cyrus and Darius, mm -hmm. right? Okay, go ahead. And the rough goat is the king of, the, of Grecia. King of, Alexander of the Great. And the great horn that is between his eyes is the first king. Mm -hmm. Now that being broken, whereas four stood up for it, four kingdoms shall stand up out of the nation, but not in his power. Alexander the Great was killed, well, not killed, yeah. he died, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and then four kingdoms stood up from from him, but not of his own posterity, right? They weren't his sons or whatever. He chose his four generals to rule the four corners of the earth, right? Or the four areas of the earth at that time. Wow. Verse 23. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up. Mm-hmm. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. Mm -hmm. And he shall, he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Praise God. So historically, mm -hmm. he's talking about Antiochus Epiphanes. If you read the book of Maccabees, mm -hmm. that's what happened. Antiochus was, he, he, he was terrible, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. And he set up a, 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 a statue of Zeus in, in the temple. And made our people worship it. He made them eat swine's yeah. flesh. He made them. He stopped them from from sacrifice from uh, circumcising their yeah. children. And the whole Maccabean period is about how terrible Antiochus was and those that came after him, right? Mm. But this is also prophetic, talking about this 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 uh, king of the at the end time, okay. right? Where he's going to what? And Lucifer is going to give him his power and mm -hmm. his seat and great authority. Mm -hmm. Praise so, God. Would this be like a double prophecy? Yeah. All prophecies yeah. are something mostly yeah. historical do, and right. future or prophetical, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, verse 25. Mm -hmm. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, mm -hmm. and he shall magnify himself in his heart. Hmm. And by peace shall destroy many. Mm -hmm. um, he shall also stand up against the prince of the prin of the princes. Mm -hmm. uh, but he shall be broken without hand. Praise God. So we know he's you skipped all the way to the the end time, this final mm -hmm. uh, Roman Empire that yeah. has been revived, right? And he is going to what? Destroy the mighty and the holy people, which the Roman Empire has done. Yeah, yeah. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hands. And yeah. he shall magnify himself in his heart. In other words, he's going to say, mm -hmm. I am God, worship me. Yes. Right? And he's going to put a statue 
that is going to be able to, not like the statue of Nebuchadnezzar mm-hmm. made, this one is going to be able to mm-hmm. speak, okay. right? And cause as many that would not worship him to be destroyed. Mm-hmm. Praise y'all. And he is going, this beast is going to stand up against Yahshua himself mm-hmm. and fight against him. Mm-hmm. But he shall be broken mm-hmm. without hand. Mm-hmm. Praise okay. y'all. You know what? Um, uh, talking about that um, that statue and such. Mm-hmm. Now they've already created it, and then it's going around to different locations in the world. It's called the giant. Yes. And it yeah. moves and I all remember that. seeing yeah. that. It yes. moves and, and it, it takes on the form that because they kind of yeah that they, they want to they want to make it like a, a a theme park. So if you pay and you want it to look like. Putin, yeah. it'll look like that. If you yeah. want it to look like somebody else, turn, but it's gigantic. It's like several stories high, what? like a mount, like a like a uh, what is it? Like a building, right. and it moves like one and it of the does seven, things. Seven, yeah, seven uh, wonders. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of that before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's, called I think a, we, it's called a giant. We've seen it, and mm-hmm. it's an amusement park. It's it's going throughout the world. Okay, right, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. and that's to what sensitize or mm-hmm. desensitize yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. to right. accept this crap, yeah. mm-hmm. right? Yep. yep, like they do always. Right. They always premiere I'm stuff. Look this up on the internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 we talked about this. I think last year. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah, know it's if it's either minute. you or you yeah, that called, brought it up. Yeah, it's called but a giant. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. And exactly. It's, I think they said it was going around to tw- it was last year because mm-hmm. it was that was going to twenty one different cities. Right. And that twenty one, you know, went along with the two thousand twenty one year. Oh, great job. So yeah, so yeah, it was oh, yeah. going around. Yeah, yeah some stuff for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But he will be broken without hand, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Because of the script because of what Daniel had prophesied in chapter seven and in chapter two. Because the statue, Yahshua is going to what? Hit that statue on his feet, Mm -hmm. right? And it's going to bust asunder. Mm -hmm. All of the empires, all those kingdoms Mm -hmm. are going to be coming to an end. And then Yah's kingdom on earth will be established and it will reign forever, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Go ahead and pick up verse 26 through 27. Okay. And the vision of the evening and the morning which was told is true. Wherefore, shut thou up the vision, for it shall be for many days. Praise God. The vision of what? Mm-hmm. The evening and the morning, which is just like mm-hmm. Yah told us from the beginning, the day begins at evening right, right. and goes mm-hmm. through the morning, which was told is true. Mm-hmm. Wherefore, Danielle, this is Gabriel talking, right? Shut you up the vision. Okay. For it shall be for many, many. days. Because he told him in the mm-hmm. beginning, it's for what? The time of the end. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shut it up. I'm going to tell you, but shut it up. Not gonna be no sense time. in telling these people that. It's just like what John mm-hmm. said, what he heard from the seven thunders, Yah said, don't write what right. the seven thunders uttered. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Praise Yah. Verse 27 says, Okay. And I, Danielle, fainted <laughs> and was sick certain days. <laughs> Afterward, I, I rose up and did the king's business. And I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. Hmm. Praise God. So it sounds like even though he told him to shut it up, yeah. it was for the time of the end, he probably still told his pals, right? His, his partners, mm-hmm. uh, the other brothers that were with him, because it said, but none understood it, mm-hmm. right? But mm-hmm. well, they weren't supposed to. Right. right. He told you not to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but it's it's amazing. He said, yeah. I, Danielle, fainted. It mm-hmm. started off fainted, right? Yeah. Gabrielle lifted him up, and told him again. what he had saw in terms of the vision. Yeah. Yeah. He fainted again. Mm. <laughs> and he said, I was sick certain days. In mm. other words, many days. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. So they must have had no PTO at that time. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 Afterwards, I rose up and did the king's business, mm-hmm. right? Okay, pick up Daniel chapter 12, 1 through 13. Daniel 12, 1 through 13. Okay. Okay, everyone there? Mm-hmm. Okay. And at that time shall Mikael stand up the great prince which which standeth for the children of thy people. And this is still Gabrielle talking to Danielle, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Hmm. Hmm. 
And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Hmm. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many, excuse me, to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Praise Yah. But thou, you, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even, oh, yes, even to the time of the end. Mm -hmm. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. And we know and that that's happened, right? Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. But he sure. said, Daniel, seal, shut up the words, and seal the scroll, right? Mm hmm and remember, uh, Yahshua opened a scroll that had seven seals on it. Mm -hmm. So all these scrolls were rolled, and then it had like a, a little, I don't know what it was, but we can think about it as uh, clay or mm -hmm. putty, mm -hmm. something that would make a seal, mm -hmm. right, okay. that they would have to open it. That's how they used in to order do it back in it. the day. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. With that yeah. thing. You had to break it. You had to break it, it. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So he told Daniel, shut up the word and seal the scroll even to the time of the end. Yes. So Revelation revealed a lot of what Daniel mm -hmm. had shut up mm -hmm. and, and closed up, right? right? But not what the seven thunders uttered. We mm -hmm. still won't know what that is mm -hmm. until it's time for Yahweh okay. to, mm -hmm. to tell us what, it, what they uttered, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Which is, is why it? Daniel and Revelation work hand in hand. The Praise 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 Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, pick up verse 5, says. Oh, then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood, let me see, other two, is that other two? Mm -hmm. The one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on that side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man, clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall it be to the end of these wonders? Hmm. And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for a time, times, and a half, and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. Sound familiar? And I heard, mm -hmm. but I understood not. Praise God. So in chapter in Revelation chapter ten, mm -hmm. that angel stood one foot in the river mm -hmm. and the other foot on the land. Mm -hmm. This angel was standing literally in the river, mm -hmm. right? And we yeah. know that Danielle was also in the Babylonian captivity. So it could have very well it didn't say, it doesn't say Euphrates, but it could have very well been the Euphrates River, which is what I think was mm -hmm. the river that he was this angel was standing on in Revelation chapter ten. Because in Revelation chapter 9, that's when it talks about the Euphrates River. And we went through all of that about the Euphrates mm -hmm, River mm -hmm. and its importance. And then it says that the angel was standing one, one right. foot on the river and one foot on land. Mm -hmm. right? And he held up his right hand that he lit, mm -hmm. that lives forever. You know, the same thing is mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. It happened to Danielle and, and then it happened to Yohanan. In the book of Revelation. Okay. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. That's, that's, that's and he told him the same thing. Mm -hmm. It says, verse uh, 7 again. And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right mm -hmm. hand and his left hand unto heaven. Because the other, the, 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 mm -hmm. the angel in Revelation had a scroll, so he only held up one of his hands, right? Mm -hmm. The other one had, held the scroll. But this one held up both hands, yeah. right? Yeah. Unto heaven. And swear by him that liveth forever and ever that it shall be for three and one half yeah. years mm -hmm. when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people. All these things shall be finished. Mm. Three and a half years. Not seven yeah. years. Yeah. Three and one half years. Mm -hmm. That's what we have left. And that is when they will be a, they will begin to what? Yeah. Give this mark of the beast. Okay. Everybody will be able to what? Buy and sell. And that is happening between the, the trumpets because the vows of wrath is giving those who take the name, number, and mark of the beast their just reward. Okay. Right? Yeah. Destruction, mm -hmm. in other words. Mm -hmm. So we're dealing with 
the three and a half years, the time right before we go into the wilderness, mm -hmm. and they set up this third, this this last kingdom. Okay. This beast says, "I am God." Yeah. Right. Okay. So we, I mean, mm -hmm. dear sisters, we are almost there. Yeah. Just hold on. We are mm -hmm. almost there. Mm -hmm. But just like it says in verse at the end of verse uh, not seven. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's verse 8. Okay. And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O oh my Adonai, uh, what shall be the end of these things? Mm -hmm. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, mm -hmm. for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Mm-hmm. Many shall be purified um, and made white and tried, hmm. but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Praise Yah. And from the time that the daily sacrifice, or from the time, rather, that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Mm -hmm. Wow. Another three and a half. That's the yeah. same three and a half years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Blessed is he that walk, waiteth rather, and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. No, I don't know if I read that right. So a thousand mm -hmm. two hundred and ninety days. But then it says, "Blessed is he that cometh to a thousand three hundred and thirty-five days." So mm -hmm. I, it's it's about what. Uh, 45 extra years, right? Not years, days, days. Okay. forgive me. 45 extra days from mm -hmm. the end of the three and a half years of the reign of the beast to the 45 days that will end it all. Oh, so wow. you got to get through the three and a half years and 45 extra days. Okay. Praise mm -hmm. y'all. Verse 12 says, Okay, but go thou thy, thy way till the end, till the end be rather, for thou shalt rest, and stand in thy lot at, at the, the end, end of, of the days. days. Praise so, Yah, hallelujah. You know, All right. But before you go, you, you know, it's interesting as you were reading, it made, made a lot of sense because we first, we were reading in 12 and also prior to 12 mm -hmm. in what, in 8. eight. Mm -hmm. And it was talking about, of course, you had the, especially in 12, you had Mikael speaking mm -hmm. to Gabrielle. So those are two angels. Mm -hmm. And then here in verse 5, uh, Daniel 12 and 5, it says, Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood another two right. angels. Mm -hmm. So right. now mm -hmm. we got four angels. So mm -hmm. it sounded like these are the four archangels Praise that God. are there okay. in the midst of all this conversation. Mm -hmm. Yep, four of the seven, huh? Mm -hmm. Praise y'all. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Praise